Hey guys, so I got these words on um, 2724 around 2.30 p.m. 2.30 in the Greek is a fact or true reality. And in the Hebrew, it is sure or assured. So keep that in mind when you hear the first one. So this is called people and bright ones. And it's actually to the bright ones. And it's regarding different groups of people. Okay. So if you're not a bright one, this isn't really for you. Um... And it doesn't say it's to the bright ones until later in the thing. Just so you understand perspective when you start hearing this, okay? One is who knows me and the other is people are the same. Who knows me? People float through life, but who knows me? Those who know me hear me and read my words in an effort to know me. Many think they know me. They know of me. But they do not read my words or try to keep them. These will need your help. There are so many of these who like me, but do not know me. From man's perspective, these are nice people or good people. But these will need your help, for they do not know how to cry out to me. You will help them find me fully. You will already be transformed before they are ready to hear. But you will be my hands and feet to help them approach me in a way I deem appropriate. Rest in the knowledge that the majority of people fall into this category and will be grateful that you help them. After the war, so much will change and this will make the people crave truth. You, bright ones, will bring truth and it will be welcomed by most. The kings will not embrace you, but they will have no power over you. Have hope for all you know. For most will be in this group, grateful to learn how to approach me. You will also be able to share hope with them and help them prepare for rapture. No matter what effort the kings make, always recall we have one already. Number two, so in the Greek, 516 is becoming worthy. And in the Hebrew, it is destroy not or thou must not destroy. It's used in a few Psalms, but one of the important ones is Psalm 57 about David fleeing from Saul into a cave. If we can listen to that, I do believe that this is the way the Lord wants to be approached. So read through that Psalm and try to find the others. People are the same. The languages of the world divide, but people are all the same. Love, character, respect, family, conflict, pride, choosing me or self, choosing me or false religions. The clothing changes from place to place. Traditions change in each culture, but the core of humanity is the same. When I send you out, you will help anyone in any language. There will be no language barrier. You will cut straight to the heart. I will send you all over the world. The millennial kingdom will be the true melting pot. The common ground will be my son. Kindness and truth will break every barrier. You will have no language barrier. So all you will be doing is being my agents to spread the truth. The major religions of the world that have a stronghold on most will fail. Most people will be looking for truth and they will find it as you deliver the gospel. So if you're a bright one, I hope you find that encouraging and I'll see you next time.